Hello YouTube, this is the Slyest Fox on Hot for Nerds. I would first like to start off today by apologizing for our tardiness. Um, we've been really bad about posting on Fridays and have not been posting until a few days after Fridays or in some people's cases, Kimberly, haven't been posting at all. Um, so I'm really sorry, um, but I guess there's no excuse except that we're busy and we all procrastinate and then start making our video like the day before or the day of and then aren't done editing it until the next day. Or in Kim's case, she got really sick and uh, didn't have time to do it. So we're sorry and um, we'll work on it. We'll, we'll try to post more promptly. So today I'm going to talk about all of the geeky things that have been affecting my life lately. Um, firstly, the newest version of Firefox is out. Firefox 3 was released a few days ago and it's magnificent. Um, I use a Mac but it is available for both Mac and PC um, and it's beautiful and it's way faster than the old one and there's about a million really amazing things about it that have been outlined on Lifehacker and I'll stick the link um, over there so you can go check out all of the great new features. Um, the one thing that I really love the most about Firefox is that it has uh, a bunch of add-ons that other people have made that you can use. So my favorite ones are the Firefox Gmail Manager is amazing because what it does is it puts in the bottom right corner of your browser a little thing with your Gmail address on it, or rather whichever one you're signed into, and then you can right click or control click on it and choose any of your other Gmail accounts if you're someone who has multiple Gmail accounts like I do. I have a lot of Gmail accounts. So it keeps all of your Gmail accounts right there. So you just click on it and then you type in your password or you can have it remember your password so all you have to do is click it and it automatically logs you in. So you don't have to go to the Gmail website and then type in your password and all of that. It's just faster. Another add-on that I really like that isn't quite working properly with the new Firefox yet, but you should keep it in mind and maybe when they update it so it's not quite as buggy with the new um, Firefox, you should download it. It's called Cool Iris, C-O-O-L-I-R-I-S. And it's especially good for people who like YouTube because what it does is that every time there's a link, when you scroll over the link, a tiny little blue box pops up beside the link. And if you scroll over that, it opens that link in a tiny browser window inside your browser. So you can immediately see what's on that page and see if you actually want to click on that page and if you want to leave it your page that you're on for that one. Um, and the reason why I say it's especially good for YouTube is because if you do a search for videos and you get the list of all of the videos that match your search terms, if you mouse over one of the videos, it just pops up the video and immediately starts playing it. And or the same thing works for your subscriptions. You scroll over the name, you scroll over the little blue dot that it makes, and then it pops up the video and it plays the video, and then when the video is done, you can just click back on your browser page and watch the next one. Another really awesome thing that has come out in the last couple of weeks, which if you don't already know about, you ought to, is the Penny Arcade video game, uh, which is called On the Rain Slicked Precipice of Darkness. If you haven't already downloaded it, you probably should. It's available for Mac, PC, and Linux, so you have absolutely no excuses. No matter what computer you have, you can play this game. Um, and it's really, really fun. It's the, the character design is pretty rad, and then your character that you make is integrated into the game and all of the cut sequences. And it's very cleverly written, of course, and it's really, really funny. Now it's both an adventure game and kind of an RPG game um, because you have three different characters that you can control. The one that you make and then Gabe and Tycho. And then there are a few like other characters that you get to control in your party. And then you have to collect items and figure out where to go and like solve clues and stuff, but you also fight things. Um, the fighting is actually really fun and it really keeps you on your toes and you have to like 
click on all the buttons really fast to use the items to like heal people or um, use certain weapons or use certain potions and it's actually for me since I'm not quite used to that kind of game it's a little bit challenging uh, to it was challenging to get used to um, how fast-paced the turn-based fighting is because it's not the kind of turn-based fighting that like gives you a little while to like think about what your next move is going to be. You have to do it like chop, 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 or you're going to die. So I'm not quite done playing it yet, so no spoilers here, but uh, so far it's pretty rad and it's, it's super fun and it's really well designed and you should definitely try it. It's only $20, uh, so it's, it's incredibly cheap for a video game and it's, you really can't go wrong. So I'll put the link for that over there too. So you can go check it out and play it because it's really, really fun. Now, I have had not one, but two really upsetting computer-related things happen to me lately. The first thing that happened was that my modded Xbox, which you might remember from such videos as the five top reasons why I'm a total geek, uh, my Xbox, like, died. Not exactly. What happened was, um, is that I, I turned on my Xbox and there was nothing there. Gone. Just gone. It was like zero bytes and I was like, you're lying. I know that there's information on your hard drive. And so I searched the internet and it turns out when I got it done, I took uh, a 300 gig hard drive for them to put into it so that I would have enough space to store media on. And the guy who did it partitioned it improperly because apparently the Xbox cannot handle partitions greater than 256 gigabytes and since the hard drive was 300 gigabytes he should have split it into two different tiny small partitions so the Xbox could still like deal with it because as soon as I got over the 256 gig mark it it like basically erases all of the file names and it can't find anything anymore. Now all that information is still on there. I'm going to try my darndest to get it off, but it's going to involve taking apart the Xbox, taking out the hard drive, putting it in a PC, and using a data recovery program to try to get the information off. Which is such a pain and it's going to take forever, but hopefully I'll get some of my stuff back. The other really upsetting thing that I had happened to me is I was making this YouTube video and um, I was doing the audio for it and then I made the video part for it and since I was using my video camera which is HD the HD files that I was putting on the computer were really huge so my computer was like oh your hard drive is getting kind of full you should delete some stuff so I was like okay so I went through the files and I moved some things onto an external hard drive and deleted them and then I thought you know I have this program that I downloaded that's called Onyx that supposedly will clean up my computer for me. So I think, great, okay, I'll use this program and it'll like clean off extra bits off my computer that I don't need anyway, and then I'll have more space. And it deleted all of my GarageBand files. All of them are just, they were just gone. And, I, and not only that one project that I'd been working on for a YouTube video, but everything that I'd ever done on GarageBand. And I don't understand why would you think that my GarageBand program files were something that was it was okay for you to get rid of? Why? So I just I freaked out. I I cried for about half an hour because I'd been working on this damn song for a good week, and it's just gone, totally disappeared, forever. So I'm gonna have to redo it. <sighs> Which is so annoying because it took so long and it was so good. There are multiple programs for both Mac and PC for backing up your computer. And you should really, really look into it. Do it lest ye end up like me and lose all of your hard work. So the moral of this week's edition of Hot for Nerds is download Firefox 3 play on the rain slick precipice of darkness and back up your computer for the love of god <laughs>